Hello and welcome to Akiraming Play Strike Mania Turbo. This is Good Morning to Strike Mania, and it is not really morning anymore where I live. Oh, I didn't, I should have worked in there. Broken, breaking, back, whatever. Let's just restart then. Okay, so this map, I'm not really that good at it, but you gotta like make a bit of a turn right there just so you can get a bit of time right there. It, you kind of lose your first sector, but that doesn't really matter. Second sector is way more important. Oh, I need, I need to be a bit closer to those walls, and I think I hit those walls, so I was a bit too close. Oh, the two in front are on the exact same time. Alright. Oh, that was it. Very, very close. And that might actually make this pretty good. Oh, I'm free ten fourth. Okay, we need to be extremely close to these walls. Oh, my freaking. A bit too close, I turned in a bit too early. Oh, can I make another level? Oh, I cannot. So, I guess this is going to be a fairly low in position, but okay, this is the first time playing of this game today, so I'm not really warm yet, or ready yet, oh, this, I feel this time so much, it's going to be so good, but I'm just not going to be able to complete it, and that really sucks. Ooh, words, words. Okay, but yeah, I kind of wanted to just talk a bit about the Euro finals. It was a decent final. I see it wasn't that great, but you kind of expect that from a final. Ultimately, it can quite easily become fairly boring because both teams really, really want to win. So they really don't want to give the other team some big stupid chances. And so... Those matches so often become fairly boring, and you have you know, kind of have to pick a team to cheer for because you're not going to cheer for the football. But yeah, I don't know if I'm happy with Portugal winning. Didn't think they deserved from the tournament they have been playing. Don't like that the third place in the group can win the tournament, but that's mostly why I'm against them. I also didn't really enjoy France in this tournament. I feel like they're... they're uh, what am I trying to say? Their audience... <coughs> their audience were fairly bad. They were too easily unpleased and they were vocal about being unpleased. And I don't know. I don't like to hear people being unpleased when I'm watching football. That's not what excites me. But if people are really cheery, that's very exciting to watch. I also think it's more interesting to be on a stadium when people are actually cheering. Okay, 25.58. I don't know, this is one of those maps where I actually know what my record time is. It is 25.26. So I'm fair, a fair bit off. I also did a very bad last corner on my lap there. And that was... Oh, I, maybe I didn't touch it. Thought I did. Oh, no. I lost my car on the last corner again. Really bad. I also feel like I can do this a bit faster, this first sector. I saw somebody do a 2505 this map. That's just insane. Respect to that dude. Oh, I'm too wide, aren't I? No, maybe not. I need some more practice on this last corner. I, I hate such corners sometimes. <laughs> it's just... Oh, I tried to turn right there, but my car just left the ground. And there's nothing really to do when your car leaves the ground. You're just dead. Oh no. Okay, I'm really not playing well right now. I'm sorry about that. Oh, he's rank 4. Nice. So if the one behind me 
This means if I can actually pull out a good time, then I will grow some positions, probably. I will at least get some invisibles core. Just can I? Oh no, that's bad too. Turned in a bit too early. But this map is just precious you to do it sometimes. But it's kind of irritating that I haven't done the last corner really good uh, at any point. I'm fairly stable at doing this corner decently, at least. And I am about to sneeze, maybe. Oh, that was really bad. Come on, nose. Do you want to sneeze? I don't want to sneeze. Me neither. Uh, Yep, this is bad. That is the definition of bad. Now I only have one and a half minutes left. Should we talk about the Formula 1 Grand Prix yesterday? I didn't watch it live, I watched it, I watched it uh, later on some kind of stream on the internet. Oops. And it seemed to be a fairly exciting Grand Prix. But, sadly, Hamilton just ran away with it without any problems. Not that that's necessarily bad, but kind of wanted Rosberg to be able to compete with him, even though he got the penalty afterwards. It's took him back in position. That was a very, very good corner, by the way. And that was a pretty decent corner, too. Okay, I just have to do this right now. Oh! 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 What the? Well, I'm happy about that. Whoa! That really felt great all the way through. There's still like four tenths to be gotten to get on this map. And I'm probably not going to be in those right now because I just. I'm exhausted after that almost. That was so good. Oh, I finally can complete the final call. That was also a better time than his. That's pretty nice. Very, very happy about that map lap there. Only one position though. Oh, that sucks so much. Probably. But did anything else exciting happen in the Formula 1 Grand Prix yesterday? Federal will couldn't drive, drive past through people yesterday for some reason. You're kind of expecting to be able to get to at least 6 or something. <clears throat> and I don't even know where he ended after his penalty. I don't even know if he got points. He might have not. Raikkonen did, uh, did what he does best. An anonymous race. Who were taking somebody at a point. And then afterwards saying, brrr, brrr, And uh, giving some sort of very monotone answer. Which is great, which is why we love him. Uh, Rosberg did a f pretty bad race. He's not very good at the damn tracks. I feel he, like he's a bit too cautious. Next to stab him is they're not very cautious and he keeps on having the luck that he, Ricardo really need. And he isn't getting with the good pit stop strategies. strategies. Udotron. Those two are, f are both faster than me right now. I also really suck at this map. This is probably the bane of my existence now. Cannot do it rightly. I really struggle to get a 30 time at all. At least. I do need to go very close to that corner to be able to do it, I know. Just trying to think, was there anything else? You know, to force India to keep on impressing. But I guess that isn't really that impressing anymore because they just keep on doing it. Oh, this is actually a fairly decent start to the lap. But, oh, and she made that corner fairly decently. Oh, but I did not make that corner fairly decently. And that sucks for me and shows why I'm bad at this map. I feel like 
dirt is just the bane of my existence. The bane. I hate it. Go away, dude. Oh, I don't mind being there. I'm just bad at it. Ooh, that feels pretty good. This also feels pretty decent. I feel like I was a bit too far out on that corner. I could have been closer. It's also pretty okay. Uh, uh, damn it! I was afraid of the wall at the end right there. Oh my. I kind of turned a bit too much on the dirt. So you can see, it's the bane of my existence. And it really sucks. <laughs> it doesn't really suck. It's allowed to stay. I just don't agree with it. Oh! I completely... I did the first corner fell decently and I didn't just stop doing anything. Uh, can I make this? Yeah, I could make it. Might not be that fast, but I did it. Did a thing. Woo! Oh, it was really not fast. It's just like I have to do something to at least remedy this map, this trip, this left. Should we actually talk about the Tour de France? I don't really feel like it's necessary because, whoa, that's a huge snow fest what I've watched so far at least. I have like actually watched that much because I'm only interested in the end of the stages at the moment. Just because they don't really deliver before, it seems. And so far this year they haven't really delivered on the end of the stages anyways. Except of on Saturday, when Froome really delivered. I don't normally like Froome, but kudos to him for that trick he have learned. I can only respect that. For those of you uninitiated in cycling, Froome is normally a very, very bad downhill rider and he looks extremely nervous. But apparently, over oh, uh, since the last Tour de France, or maybe. Did he win the last one? I can't remember. If he. Actually, I think he did. Uh, but since then, he have apparently learned how to drive downhill. Not only learned how to, but learned how to exceeded driving downhill and that's just amazing oh my flipping such a good time until I did that oh and I just lost everything I didn't even get an under 31 that time maybe because I was speaking who knows I just know that I'm not satisfied I know I can do an under 30 I know I can. Oh my god, this is a number 130 ride. Yeah, it is. Thank you, myself, for doing this. Right at the end, when I can't capitalize. I'm actually getting fairly good at doing good laps on my last try, for some reason. I normally really suck at that. But it's like, I, I feel like I can concentrate a bit more now. That I'm more comfortable with the game. So I can like concentrate on the last try and really make it happen. A lot of the time. Of course I could use this concentration all the way through, but... It's just not always that easy to just switch it on. But yeah, this will be it for this time. Thank you for watching and bye bye.